Hey guys, Whitney and Ashley here from ShaneyToShake.com and maybe many of you fellow DIYers are sitting around just like we did thinking WTH is, is a Craig jig. jig and exactly what does it do? Well, we're going to show you today how it can make your building easier, your projects a lot stronger and save you time along the way. Okay guys, the Craig Jig is a type of tool that helps you join two pieces of wood together. So once you've cut your wood with your saw, your next step is to use your Craig Jig. And before we had our Craig Jigs, we would have to pre-drill and countersink. And now with the Craig Jig, it makes it one step and you're able to countersink at an angle, making your joints so much stronger. And you're gonna need to set your measurements. That's the very first step. And so you always want to measure your wood that you're working with. And so this piece of wood is a one by which generally is going to be three quarters of an inch thick, but in ours is yeah, ours today, this lucky. Time. But occasionally, a one sixteenth of an inch will make a difference, so you always want to measure it so you know exactly what you're starting with. And then, we have that measurement, so we're going to take it over to our handy dandy Craig jig. And we're going to first set the depth of the, Craig, of the wood right here. And on the side of your Craig jig, there's going to be different measurements, and they're all in different increments. This one says one half, five eighths, three quarters, Whatever that width is that you've got on your wood measurement, that's what you're going to set that part to. It's very easy to do. You loosen it to lift it, and then you just tighten it to keep it secure. And Perfect. then we're going to place our piece of wood in the clamp, and we just center it right up. And your clamp, you're going to want to make sure that that's a snug fit. If it's not, you can adjust it and tighten the bolt down. Now, the final measurement that we're going to have to make before we start to drill our pocket holes is with this drill bit, we're going to adjust this depth collar with our Allen wrench. And you're going to find your measurement for the thickness of your wood in one of these little dips. And we want to go measure, we want to stop at three quarters of an inch on this part right here. That's going to line up with three quarters of an inch. There it is. And just make sure that your depth collar is right up against that base and you're just going to tighten it and we're ready to go. Okay, we have our wood set up and we're ready to drill our pocket holes and you always want to make sure that the bad part of your wood or the wood that doesn't show is facing you because that's where you're going to be drilling your pocket holes. So I have all my measurements set. I'm going to stick it in the first hole and drill until the collar stops you and now the second. And now it's time to join our boards. We have put our Craig driver into our drill. We've got one and a quarter inch screws to join these two pieces. Craig has a list uh, that will tell you a little chart that'll tell you exactly what size screw to use for your pocket holes. And you're just gonna slide the pocket hole or the pocket screw into the pocket hole and just drive it in. And you'll feel it pull and you know that it's secure. And we're gonna do the second one. And there we go. So we hope we've shown you guys exactly what a Craig Jig is and how much easier it can make your building life. And if you're looking for a great first time project using your Craig Jig, try framing around one of your mirrors. It's a great way to use your Craig Jig. You can use the same steps that we just showed you and your pocket holes will be covered behind it. It makes for a beautiful trim. You can also check out our favorite tools page where you can get links to our favorite model of the Craig Jig as well as our other tools as well. Peace, Peace out. out.